Okay, Adam. Let's go on to some games. After that. Thank God. So, yeah. so here we go. Um, so there's been a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog talk coming out in the next, like, this year. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, so they just did an announcement for the Sega Genesis Classics Collection coming to PS4 and Xbox, but not the Switch. So it's going to have... Uh, it might be delayed on the Switch. Possibly, but so far there's no... Uh, there's no uh, date for it <laughs> i so, think i think the reason why the switch is getting ports uh a little late is because the system architecture is so different from the playstation 4 and the xbox well why do they keep saying that the the, the the switch was so easy to develop for then because it's an android based architecture so why can't they i don't know this stuff but why can't they just port it over why, why is it the the, the playstation 4 as... and the xbox 360 are more similar to a pc architecture than you know like an android yeah but to, a tablet. but to be fair though i mean these are just i mean so the game's just gonna have 50 games on it from yeah the Sega I, Genesis. i'm saying uh, it might be six months it might be three months all right well no, right it, now it'll come just, to the switch is yeah well right now there's just currently no switch adaption um so it's coming out on may 29th and it's gonna have 50 games including uh, mirror mode, achievements, multiplayer, visual filters, and rewind um, to these games. And, you know, it's pretty much the Sega Genesis collection. But more games. But more. Yeah, because there's uh, only 32 games, I want to say, in this Something Genesis like collection. that. I mean, it's everything you could think of, like Gunstar Heroes, all the Shinobi, uh, the 2, 3, and 4, a Fantasy Star, all the Sonics, you know, Alex Kidd, Altered Kid Beast. Kid Chameleon's probably Kid on Chameleon, there. Kid Vector Man. Uh, Golden Axe, Echo the Dolphin yeah. series, all that stuff, all those good games, they're great. Yeah, uh, I, I would just prefer to have it on the Switch because I just obviously I've said it a thousand times. I feel like I'm repeating myself like a goddamn record, but uh, the D-pad, the D-pad on the, oh, the yeah. Switch, just, superior. It's just so much better than yeah. the than the four arrows. It's just I just like the little buttons. They click. They they feel great. But um, no item or price is currently listed on his Amazon, but it's probably going to be. I think a, the last one was twenty nine ninety nine. So yeah. I'm not. I'm guessing twenty nine thirty nine something. On somewhere there. around it's there, yeah, thirty nine ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine. That's my guess. I definitely think this will be cool on the pickup. <clears throat> um, yeah. To have these in a nice HD collection because the Genesis collection is still probably one of the best selling. I mean, it has to be. I'd love to know what the the sales record on that thing. That thing has to be one of the best. They still sell that new. And it still sells the yeah. Sega Genesis collection. Let me see. Uh, what do they call that? The Sonic collection. Sonic Sega Genesis collection. I think it's Let's see. Sega Genesis collection sales. Let's just. I'm just pulling this out of my ass. We don't even know if this is gonna be. Um. Uh, God, there's so many good games. The only problem I had. Uh, I had an. A bummer about is that it does not so far say that there's going to be any unlockable extra games from the uh master system or the arcade like the arcade shinobi and the space harrier did look like they actually looked like they had space harrier in the uh trailer but uh no it was, but it might be the genesis version probably but there's no fantasy star master system or uh fantasy zone i mean it, unfortunately i'm not seeing anything about what its sales number were uh you know, at least were, but I mean, the game still goes for about twenty bucks new, so yeah. I mean, it's still a popular title. Uh huh. So, I think that that's super interesting. That's great. But uh, so I'm also gonna uh, add another Sonic thing that they they also Sonic said that Mania Plus. Yes, Sonic Mania Plus physical version. Um, it was revealed that a physical release of the existing game that packed in some brand new content, including Mighty the Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel as playable characters, expanded version of the four-player comp- uh, competition mode where you go head-to-head with other players. And uh, But I, the one thing that just irritates me is that this will be available in a physical package this summer for Switch, PS4, and Xbox One, but it's notable that the only other physical version of the game was the Collector's Edition, which came with a digital copy of the game. And that was the only, like, physical form you could get. Yeah, which but, I have that. Yeah, I have it too. But it fucking, it, it actually kind of irritates me. Yeah, when I opened it up and saw that there was no disc, I was a little pissed. I was pissed off, but at this, I was also really pissed that I'm like, wait a minute, so now I can get the physical version and I have to buy it again to get the physical version? Well, I think if you already have the game downloaded, this is, I, I believe These are all... I heard this is a free update. Oh, you can you're... buy the physical version. That's what I heard. I'm not 100% on that. Okay, because they're saying like this new Plus version mm-hmm. includes a holographic packaging, a 32-page art book, and a reversible cover that makes it look like a mm-hmm. Genesis game. Yeah. It just That fucking annoys me. I just I spent 
I spent like what was that like forty nine ninety nine on that collector's edition yep. on a twenty dollar game, and they and now they're releasing the physical version. I just yeah. that pisses me off. That really irritates me that I'm I'm buying these games digitally and then they re-release them physically with new stuff. Yeah, and it's like God damn it! Like really gonna make me do this again? Yeah, I just think that's so like that's not cool. To well, me. one of the one of the nice things about the modern era is that when they do this kind of shit. Um, of course, you remember Sega Genesis Super Nintendo days, how many versions of Street Fighter there were. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and you had to buy the new game cartridge to get the new content. You don't yes. have to do that anymore. It can be offered in free or paid DLC now. But from what it's saying, it doesn't sound like... I mean, I, I, I swear, I don't know where I heard it, but I swear that you are supposed to get these two new characters as free DLC. It's supposed still, to be in an update in the if game. If that's that, if it's a free update, okay, then I'll shut my fucking mouth because I get everything. But if they're gonna force you to buy this new game, that's a little shitty. That's shitty. If that is, because they were emphasizing two new playable characters in this plus mode and new new levels and right? new levels, yeah, and new like competition modes. Like mm-hmm. I didn't do the competition mode, but yeah, new levels, new gameplay features, and two new playable characters. If that's not free content. And I have to pay extra for it. I'm gonna. I, that's that pisses me off to to no belief. Like it really, really does. Um, and then the last small one is that they might be doing a Sonic Racing transformed, a, uh, either a redone one or a sequel. Which I thought that was one of the best games on the Wii U. That's, yeah, I had it on there. I thought that was one of the best racing it's games on the Wii U. Better than Mario Kart, in my opinion, but. I probably learned. Shut that. the fuck up. Mario Kart Eight was so fucking good. That's one of the best games on that system. Or, or that's actually one of my favorite Mario Karts. That's <clears throat> 64 is my favorite, but that's a lot of people just don't like that because if you didn't grow up with 64, it's a piece of shit, and I fully understand yeah, that. Well, like it's the 64 controller. Yeah. Well, I love it with the 64. I can <laughs> I can play it with that. Yeah. Um, most people will usually go with like Double Dash as their favorite, which Double Dash is not one of my favorites because I didn't have a GameCube. But Mario. What the fuck's wrong with you? I had a GameCube for like a little bit. And it wasn't until later on, and then I just played it, and I was like, oh, this isn't Mario Kart 64. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I really liked um, Advanced Circuit on the GBA. That is a really good Mario Kart game. Uh, Mario Kart on the DS was really good, along with Mario Kart 7. Uh, on the 3DS. On the 3DS. Mario Kart Wii I thought was a piece of shit. I really hated it. It just was not built very well. It yeah. clearly was meant for the motion controls, and I just cannot do it with the motion controls. Yeah, motion controls suck. I just thought they perfected it with Mario Kart 8. Um, so, but a Mario Kart R, if they do a sequel, great. That's awesome, because that's a great... You Sonic Racing? What'd I say? You Did said say? Mario Kart R. You were combining, I so- was combining Sonic R with... Mario Kart, and we're not talking about either of those Sonic two games. Sonic Boom, Sonic... Oh, no, 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 the Sonic Boom Super is actually... Super Sonic Racing is what you're Super thinking. Sonic Racing. I like that game. I that's, don't give a shit what anybody's Oh, saying. that's that game is... The ground it's is... Not, it's not good. The ground is... If if I think that is Grand ice. Theft Auto 4 is made of butter, then the ground on Super Sonic made of buttered R ice. is buttered ice. <laughs> yeah. Frozen butter. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hopefully uh, Sonic has a good year because... Did you play Sonic Forces? Sonic Forces? Yeah. Um, it's eh, it's all right. It's, it's definitely better than 06. Yeah, it's better than 06, hands down. But, um, yeah, I mean... Is it better than Colors? Because I thought Colors was a really good game. <clears throat> or um, Lost I, World. I never touched Colors or Lost World. Oh, Lost World was trying to be Mario Galaxy, but... Yeah. And I which thought it was why, fun. Which is why I didn't touch it, though. It's I mean, better. I thought... I, act, I It's not... Okay. I kind of enjoyed it more than Mario than Mario Galaxy, but I don't like Mario Galaxy one and two. So I kind of enjoyed Lost World a little bit more because it was just, I guess it was just a little more linear, and I just didn't like the whole. Up- I don't like when you go upside down. It's the main reason why I didn't like the game Prey, and I just don't like Which games where you go fuck upside. Fuck you about that. You only like it because of the character is Native American in it. You fuck. You don't like the gameplay. The gameplay is a good off. Game. Gameplay's terrible. What are you talking about? It's just Doom. It's Yeah, insert. but the upside down shit is just does not work. It's so dumb. He's such a crybaby. It's so stupid. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not a crybaby. I don't like Prey. You're I tearing tried, up right now, you fucking crybaby. I tried playing that game, and I tried my best, but man, I was getting sick 
and I felt like I was getting like vertigo whenever I was looking at this this me upside down. I just did not like it. It's making me sick. Fucking baby. I do agree that it is it did have a cool like Native American like um like backstory and the whole powers and stuff like that. But the game sucks. Stick yeah, with yeah. Wampum. Which is really, really a Native American game. It's just altered that way for the U.S. Yeah. Okay, Adam. <clears throat> um, our last topic of the day is going to be two new officially dated and confirmed titles were... Con- well, you miss some. what I miss? There's a new Sonic animated series coming out based on the Sonic Mania lore. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Nope. I'm not kidding you. Oh, that sounds... Is it going to be like that animation style like they have in the... Yeah. In the- Oh, that's awesome. Great. Yep. Yep. That's that's really exciting to me. Yeah, I, it's called Sonic Mania Adventure. Cool. Good job. Yeah. I love that that all started from uh, Sonic Mania. It just started as a guy who just really liked Sonic, got hired, and made a great game. Yeah. And they finally are getting rid of the dumb Sonic Boom because, holy God. Did you ever <laughs> actually watch Sonic Boom? No. It's, ugh, it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> I, mean, the, um, the, I think I got like three episodes and I was like, I can't watch any more of this. This is just awful. It, it's, it's, it, you know how like SpongeBob is just so hectic and crazy, but it's funny? Yeah. The Sonic Imagine Boom was just that, hec- but not funny. hectic and crazy, but not funny. And just like, you're just like, what are they doing? Why does Knuckles look like a weird mutant, like mole? He looks like a fucking refrigerator with arms. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like he looks like the 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 animation when you see that power thirst. <laughs> like I know a lot of people probably don't. I'll put I'll post a picture on the video uh, feed, but of the power thirst guy because it is just that's what Knuckles looks like to me. He's just way too top heavy. Yeah. So no, oh, I'm, I'm actually thank you for mentioning that. I did not know that. That's what is that coming this year? I think it's coming up pretty soon. I, I think they're, they're going to run like a, a, a short pilot series on YouTube just to cool. like just to gauge interest. But I mean, I would suggest that you watch it and subscribe Support to it. that channel and shit. Yeah, because if you want good Sonic content. Yeah, I would love I, I love Sonic. I mean, I've always been <clears throat> more of a Sonic fan than still like, no Adventure 3. Yeah, well, wasn't uh, Heroes technically classified as, like, Adventure 3, but, like, unofficially? I mean, I guess if you like bad games. I know, it's not a good game, but it was the closest thing you were going to get to an adventure game. Mm-hmm. Sonic Heroes, I always thought, was kind of, like, toted as the... Or Sonic Heroes was toted as, like, Sonic Adventure 3, just unofficially titled that. Like, yeah. they didn't give it that title. Like, it should have yeah, been Sonic doesn't... Adventures Heroes or I, something like I'm that. Not, I'm not satisfied with that explanation. Well, well, that's all they gave, so we'll deal with it. 